Hi guys, Luton here. Now, I don't normally make clarification updates for my videos unless I really think it's necessary, if there's something to do. Now, I want to clarify something on top of the video that I posted earlier, talking about weapon performance, some of the changes to the guns in Battlefield 4 and the way the general handling will be. Now, uh, one thing I didn't mention before was the engineers. It was because I wasn't entirely 100% sure on that. Now, I've had a lot of subscribers saying that the way it's going to run in Battlefield 4, assault class, you're going to have your standard assault rifle, but then you're going to be able to use shotguns, other things like that as well. Well, carbines also going to be universal and the DMRs are going to be usable for different classes. Uh, engineers, apparently engineers are going to be having the PDWs. Now this does make sense because in the past for Battlefield uh, engineers have generally kind of had like a kind of SMG class available for them, their kind of weapon of choice which makes sense because engineers really are kind of around vehicles, a lot of their combat tends to be close quarters, they're not moving point to point to engage enemy. So that makes a lot of sense and then the uh, you know support class have got the LMGs, the other choice and the recons are going to have their set sniper rifles along with other choices like the DMRs for the G303, FAL, etc. So that's that one. The other thing was about the reload function for the guns and we talked a bit about how in the game from what we've seen already, Battlefield 4 E3, how people seem to be dropping rounds when they change out. Now, some people have said this is down to a glitch, some people have said it's down to hardcore mode. I mean, from watching other videos from producers and just the general live streaming and from comments I've done a lot of searching, just a little bit of uploading tonight. I mean, Level Cap, for example, pointed out that it seems to happen with some guns and not others and the fact that it seems to happen only with some weapons does seem to denote it to being more of a glitch because he was saying like oh in pistols pistols don't seem to have the same problem with the reload function now that seems kind of weird to me like if it's something that's going to be put in straight in just for hardcore which is what a lot of you guys are saying to me that uh, from the live stream the dice developers confirmed this was going to be a hardcore feature not into the main game fine that makes total sense um, I didn't see that myself so good job guys for giving that information um, but it seems kind of weird if it's only happening like level cap says for some guns and not now Dasko and level cap are back I'm gonna be able to quiz them about and ask them some things I got a load of questions to ask but they can help clarify a little bit of these things but for example level cap as I say he said he is not sure and it seems to be working for different cases now if dice devs have said it's going to be in hardcore, then I guess it's going to be in hardcore. And you've got to remember as well, this is pre-alpha. I mean, it's not a finished product. So maybe this is a mechanic that they're interested in looking at and they've started exploring, but it's not finalized. And that could explain why it's apparently working with some weapons and not others. But you know, the bigger question here is whether you think this should even be in hardcore or normal. Personally, I actually think this would be a great mechanic to just have in the game. It's going to make people think a lot more about the kind of weapons that they use. It's going to make people think a lot more about their tactics, how they engage enemy, the ranges they engage enemy at. But what happens if there's too many enemy? Do they engage? Do they let them pass? There's going to be a lot of things going on here about how people are thinking about it. And I, I think that itself should really be the bigger question. Let me know what you think. Discuss it in the comments, guys. I'll get involved as well. Um, I think this is a great idea. E whether or not it makes it into the game, I still think is a concept. It's something that I would like to see. It's interesting overall. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.